how not to climb a badland. So I am always on the lookout for new places to explore. And a couple years back, I was scouring Google Maps, as one does, and I noticed this area about 30 miles from Santa Barbara. The satellite view showed a 60 square mile pocket of what seemed to be a scarred, barren, desert-like landscape nestled between the transverse, Sierra Madre, and coast ranges of California. Really, what I saw in their contours seemed to indicate a series of badlands in the area. And upon further examination, they sure were. The Koyama Badlands is what they are called. And excited by my discovery, I ventured into them the very next day, taking the one and a half hour drive with my father. And then I went again the next month, and then one more time on New Year's Eve. But up until a couple weeks ago, I hadn't been since. You know how it goes. Just last month, a sister, another friend and I, we drove to LA to go rock climbing in the San Gabriel Mountains. But due to a very unusual September rainstorm, uh, we had to cancel. So we were in LA, driving around aimlessly, we got pho, we went to the 6th Street Aqueduct where all of the movies have been filmed, and also to Skid Row. You know, all the usual attractions. After watching some rides at Six Flags, we drove further up Highway 5, took a left past some horses, and waboom, we're back in the Badlands. So we went hiking up a wash, went up a ridge, and I realized, man, I gotta come back here more often. So one week later, I went again in search of the best slot canyon in the area. And I think I just may have found it. Here it is. Let's see, Let's see if I can make it up this. Let's go. Oh, let's get to the top without sliding. Oh, easy money. Now I just gotta hop down. Oh. Utah, who? All these dry falls, one after the other. Let's see, best way up. This little thing. They don't have to be that tall. They could be six feet high. But with the sandstone, crumbly sandstone, it gets way harder. Oh, that rock's loose. Ah, oh, made it up. Oh my goodness. Seriously, this looks like Utah. I'm gonna have to take my friends here. This is sick. <sighs> nice little view above. Let's keep on walking. See what more. Oh, this might be tough. Yeah, look at that. You can see these are really steep. All right, let's see if I can make this. I kind of have my doubts. We'll see what happens. I mean, is a tumble from 10 feet worth it? Probably not. Probably should have brought my helmet, let's be honest. But I didn't expect to be in a canyon like this. That rock's good. Woo! Oh my goodness. You just gotta get a knee up. And up the first, first little one. This is all that's holding me back. Let's give this one try. Seems unlikely. Okay, 
That ain't happening, man. I wonder if I could come down, find a way up to the top, and then come down. Anyway, I'm satisfied with this. This is a sick, sick slot here. Oh, like 30 miles from Santa Barbara. As the crow flies, let's get down this. Alright, back down. Ooh. Nice dry falls. Yet another. Let's jump down this. And let there be light. Let there be light. Also, I want to go through my videos opening again. Here I am on a very steep, crumbly slope trying not to slip, but I do. And I would estimate I slid about 20 to 30 feet down. Here I am as the phone rolls. Uh, there was a lot of debris coming down with me, uh, but I got up totally fine, don't worry about it. Just some scratches here and there. And then I hiked out of there. Let's see how it goes. I climbed up this dry fall that I would estimate was about 10 to 12 feet high. Um, that was pretty fun. That one was hard. And uh, I did a little bit more exploring before heading out. I always love finding places like this that are unexpected. You wouldn't think this was 30 minutes from the ocean. And I love coming out here, so I wanted to share my findings. Please like and subscribe to see more of my adventures, and stay safe out there exploring the Badlands. Oh, and one more thing. There's these yucca plants all over the place out there. One time I slid on a patch of mud and uh, used it to catch my fall. It was just a split second reaction. Uh, and my hand got like 20 needles in it. It was really painful. They're razor sharp and they break off inside you so you can't get them out with tweezers. Just wanna make that note, don't mess with the yucca plants. See ya.